<laughs> Boy, I did not see this coming. Roots Magic issued a new version of its genealogy software, version 9. I think it caught just about everybody by surprise. But hey, tell you what, I'm going to uh, give you my first impressions of the upgrade, uh, let you know what I think, and let you know if I think it's worth it. So stick around. I'll be right back. Welcome, fellow roadie. Thanks a lot for joining me. I'll, I always appreciate it when you join me for one of these videos. Now, today, I'm going to give you my first impressions of Roots Magic 9, which was released about a week ago. It's not an in-depth review, but uh, I'll tell you why. Mainly because they did a much better version this time of releasing the version than they did in version 8. Now, granted, version 8 was a big, big rewrite, and uh, people were waiting for it for a long time. But this time, they have pre-recorded videos that show you the new features of version 9. On version 8, I, if, if, memory, if my memory is working right, uh, Bruce Busby did some live sessions where he was showing version 8. And as much as I love Bruce, I, I just don't think he was ready to present that uh, version 8 upgrade in the video. But with version 9, they pre-recorded it, so they are very good and very useful. I'll have links to those down below so that you can watch them. And I will remind you that this uh, video is not sponsored by Roots Magic, and I get uh, nothing from Roots Magic when you buy their software. But okay, uh, what else did they do? Well, they came out with a book. This would have been very useful for version 8. Let me see, there you go. Getting the most out of Roots Magic 9. Now, I'm going to do a separate review just of this book, just so you know, and it'll be in a few days, could be two or three days. But uh, if you really want to get it now, I do have a link to it down below uh, if, if you just can't wait to, to get it, okay? Now, I'm just going to do a very quick summary of the features, new features that they are highlighting that they think are the biggest things that's new to version 9. First is something called associations. If you've used Roots Magic at all, you know you have a, a timeline of events for a person. It could be birth, death, uh, baptism, uh, military service, uh, and just about anything you can think of. But there is a, a method of uh, analyzing uh, your family history that some people call the fan method, friends, associates, and neighbors, which are people that are not directly family members of those people, but associates of your ancestors. Now, this can be a very effective means of analyzing your family history, but until now, you really couldn't add them, but now you can. They'll be listed in that timeline with all your other things. Uh, so that's, that's going to be helpful, and I think I'm going to use that feature. The second one is enhanced color coding. Now, color coding is not new to, uh, to Roots Magic at all. I use it, I think a lot of people use it to color code each branch of each of their four grandparents. Uh, if you look on the... Uh, on the charts that you can do with Roots Magic, they'll have a, a colored stripe beside the name. And you could uh, set up one color to be represented on all of your, say, paternal grandfather, him and all of his direct ancestors. So if you're looking, even if you go into a list and you're looking at a long list of uh, people, and once you accumulate a lot of people, yeah, you'll have big lists. You can see at a glance who those people are. Now, that, that's not new to Roots Magic. I've done that for quite a while now. But the thing is, if you want to do other color coding, you had to 
wipe out the original color coding. If you wanted to color code uh, for, say, uh, military people, say you want to put a, uh, a, a, a red stripe for Revolutionary War veterans, a uh, green stripe for Civil War veterans, a uh, purple stripe for World War I, another color for World War II, so that you can see at a glance the veterans of those wars. It's just an example. You can do it any way you want. Before, you had to have just one of those color coding methods in there, but now you could have up to 10 different saved color coding codes so that you can switch between them easily uh, with, with no problem. You don't have to re color code people if that's something you want to do. But now, like I said, you can have 10 different ways to color code your ancestors if you want. Another thing is you can now save complex searches. Once again, searches are nothing new to Roots Magic. You can search for people based on any sort of criteria. Now, the one example they give for these complex searches, now complex is all relative, of course, uh, the complex search they give is a, an example in their video that shows this new feature is if you want to find all females that were born in Pennsylvania between 1800 and 1899. That's easy enough search to do, but uh, in the past, you'd have to redo that search over and over again. You couldn't save those searches. Well, now... You can, and you can make a group based on those searches. So uh, that's something very useful too, that I, will, I won't get a huge amount of use out of that, but at least some. And finally, they have some new data tools, some new tools to manage your data. It has nothing to do with uh, you know, who your ancestors are, but just managing the data that you have inside your Roots Magic database. Now, they, they give examples in the video that uh, Bruce Busby does that I'll have links for below. I, I don't know that there'll be anything much that I'm ever going to use, but uh, take a look at, at them and you might want them. He said that some of them have been uh, highly requested for some time now. So, like I said, take a look at the video and choose for yourself. Okay, so finally, what is the verdict here? Well, first of all, they came out with this new version, version 9, just about 17 months after version 8. That's not very long. So why did they come out with a new version so relatively soon after the last major version upgrade? Well, I have a theory. My theory is that they wanted to have this new version ready for the Roots Tech Genealogy Conference that took place last week. Roots Magic doesn't run this. Uh, it's, it's run by other people. But uh, it's the first time the Roots Tech Conference has been held in person in, what, three years because of COVID. So there was expected to be a good turnout, and from all indications, there was a good turnout. So. I have the feeling they just they wanted it to be ready. I think they're probably working on some other features uh, that they were probably intending to use in the next major release. Just a guess on my part. That's just my theory. So, does that mean you shouldn't upgrade? Well, I think if you're a regular user of Roots Magic, you probably should upgrade. I, I've upgraded. I mean, that's unless you take a look at those videos of the new features of version 9, and you just think, well, there's, there's no way I'm ever going to use any of those new features. Otherwise, it's probably worth it. Plus, if you upgrade from any version by Friday, March 10th, the upgrade price will be just $20. Now, the regular upgrade price is $30. Now, they've been playing around with this some because at first they said that this uh, $20 cheap price for upgrading was only going to be good through this last Monday and that it absolutely was not going to be extended. Well, they extended it. So, uh, I, I, 
I have no reason to believe they will extend it past Friday. So if, if you have any inkling that you might be interested in version 9 or that you want to keep up with the latest version of Roots Magic, yeah, I, I, I think it's a, a good way to, to go. Now, uh, just a note, uh, anybody with this discount price, anybody, even if you own no previous version of Roots Magic, you can buy Roots Magic 9, even if you have no previous version, for just $20 instead of the full $40 if you get it by March 10th. So if you're interested in buying it, you've been interested in buying it, or you know someone who's interested in buying it, let them know. It's right on their website. If you go to buy it on their website, that discounted price is going to be there at least through Friday night. So there you go. Now reminding you again, this video is not sponsored by Roots Magic, nor do I get any sort of fee when you buy Roots Magic software. I just wanted to give you an idea of what this new version of Roots Magic was all about. Is it worth it? Well, I, it was worth the $20 upgrade to me. Would it have been worth the $30 regular upgrade price? That might have been a different story, but you know what? I, I'm sure I would have got it anyway because I've been using Roots Magic for years and I want to keep up to date on the latest version. Hey, if you have looked at Roots Magic 9 and have any uh, thoughts about it, please put that in the notes below. I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you think about Roots Magic 9. Uh, if you've got it and played with it, or if you're not going to get it, why, why aren't you going to get it? I just want to know what you all think. So thank you so much for uh, joining me today. And I'll see you next time on the road to your family history.